All right, guys, let's talk about the network marketing industry and how it works. So as a lot of you guys know, all these products, nutritional products, supplements, skincare products, they all cost about eight to $12 to make on average, right? But companies are selling them for $60, $80, even over $100, so they can pay out a lot of money in the compensation plan. Does that work? Well, it works for maybe 1% of the people who are actually making money in the company. Kind of works for another three or 4% who are making a little bit of money or making enough to cover their monthly product expense. But 95% of the people in the company who get in for the reason of making money are making little to nothing. Haven't signed up a single person, haven't sold a single product. Some of that's their fault, some of it's not. I mean, it is hard to sell a product for 60 or 80 bucks when your friends can see a very similar product on Amazon for half the price, right? Let me put things in perspective for you. What if everything in your life was network marketing? What if everything had a compensation plan? And what if you made money every time you referred anyone to anything? A restaurant, a movie, a hotel, the grocery store, right? Let me give you some examples. <laughs> what if your friend told you about where he goes to get his haircut? And normally a haircut costs 15 bucks, but because it's network marketing and you need that six to eight X markup, you're gonna pay $80 for that haircut. So your friend, the person who referred you to that barber can make a $20 commission, right? I mean, would you pay $47 for a cheeseburger so your friend can make 12? How about a can of beans at the grocery store? Costs a dollar fifty, but because it's network marketing, it's gonna be 12 bucks. But hey, your upline's gonna make five bucks on it, so it's okay, right? No, it's not okay. I don't understand why in every other aspect of our lives, None of that stuff is okay, but somehow in network marketing, it's accepted that you're gonna overpay for products. It's just, it makes absolutely no sense. You've got people at the top of the compensation plan driving around in brand new Mercedes. You got company owners posting pictures of flying around in private jets. And then you've got single moms struggling just to make ends meet, trying to make a little bit of extra money and buying an overpriced product just so the owner can fly around in a private jet, just so their upline can make 50 bucks on them while they're making nothing. Guys, it's time for a change. This industry is broken and we're gonna fix it. Phone has exploded with text messages, um, Facebook, Instagram. I don't do Facebook much, but I have an Instagram account. Everybody's saying, hey, what, 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 what are you and Ben doing? I thought you guys loved network marketing and how it's blessed you. Uh, exactly that's why we're doing this. That's exactly why we want to fix this broken network marketing industry. We run data, we know what's up. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's over. It's time for a revolution in network marketing. There's, network marketing is a brilliant model, that's a fact. Started back in 1932, right after the Great Depression. But it was never designed for people to make something for 10 or 15, which after average companies do, and market it to the end user, that single mother that really, really needs to get, stay on that product for a few months to work. It was never designed to create a product for 10 and sell it to that single mom that really, really needs it for 80. So the seller, single mom's friend, can make 20 bucks on her and maybe some people above it. And we all know how many hoops in network marketing compensation plans are they just so people won't get paid. <laughs> Come on. I've written some of these comp plans. Come on. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right when a, when a single mom is, is working two jobs, handing out shopping cards two, three nights a week just so she can have some extra money so her daughter can go to ballet or son can take a karate class. And what do we do? We come in here, give her a $130 bottle of CBD 
so 50 people above can get paid? No wonder she quits in 2.8 months. No wonder she quits in 2. Point. Where is love? If I really love her and I really care for her and I really want her to get well, she has to stay on products. I'm not a product guy, I'm just a marketing guy. I'm a guy with passion and it comes out of me, look at me. But it's time, I mean, this is the most beautiful model in the world. Friends telling friends about something they found and love. But imagine if the rest of the world was running with the network marketing model. My haircut, I paid 13 bucks to be 80. If everybody that referred me to the barber shop was gonna get paid, a can of beans as a dollar would be 50. Nobody in the world will put up with that type of economy or the move of commerce. Why are we, why, why have we doing it in network marketing since 1932? Again, network marketing didn't start like this. It was about, hey, share a great product with your friends. You might make a little bit of money. You're definitely going to get some awesome products. Now, 200, 300, $400,000 event, uh, I'm sorry, checks and Rolex watches and a while the single mother is sitting in a crowd thinking there's something wrong with her that she cannot sell her friends her other single friends an $80 bottle just so she can make 20 because that single mom knows her other friend is struggling but guess what in live good we gotta make sure they stay on products month after month after month we're gonna love on them we're gonna show them how they can get the most amazing products in the world 100% money back guarantee for a fraction of the cost of other companies in network marketing are doing just so those other companies can pay commissions up. I care, we care for that person at the end. We want that person to stay on products month after month after month, but we don't want them to go to broke. That's what we're changing this industry, which is making it better.